Good day, viewers and followers of the Executive Mansion a social media page. Call it the social media Facebook page. Call it the YouTube page of the Executive Mansion. Wherever you are viewing us, it is in, indeed a great pleasure for me to be back again on your um, Vera set. Uh, from your homes and your offices, or maybe sitting somewhere and finding some time out. The last time you saw us, we were coming to you live and via Vera means of uh, reporting from the southeastern part of Liberia. Now we've returned to the nation's capital, Morovia, and we've switched our attention on more developmental projects on uh, this administration of His Excellency Dr. George Manning Weir. Today, I'm privileged to be traveling with a team. Again, my teammate is Mr. Olin Cooper. My name is Smith Toby. We're coming to you from the site you see here is the new Redemption Hospital here in Mosserado County. Precisely, it's now located somewhere in the upper Corwell. And of course, uh, this facility is now being developed into a model. Uh, state of the art hospital that is shortly coming online. Originally, the Redemption Hospital, now the old Redemption Hospital, situated in the borough, and of course, is been battling sea erosion. It is almost of nowhere anymore to be talked about. The administration before President George Man and Weir thought to start. A process. Now the process continuing with His Excellency Dr. George Man and Weir. A redemption outpatient clinic was, of course, originally called the a redemption outpatient clinic. Started with 50 bedrooms, I'm told, and of course, uh, it originally got open in 1982. Redemption has grown to a very big hospital in Mosserado County. That hospital is about to get relocated. This is the new home. We are about to take you to ongoing construction of the new Redemption Hospital. Stay with me. Stay with us as we now move inside where the new Redemption Hospital is located. We are now just moving in and these are our um, team members. We call them team members because they will be taking us through uh, the various stages and explanations. So my camera team is ushering us in. And I'm sure the last time we came here was a very short, short stay. But this is the entire laid out. And like you'll be watching, there are stages, there are different sections, different buildings that will be the splintered us as to the status of the current ongoing work here at this gigantic building that will be hosting the new Redemption Hospital. Remember the old one started as a clinic, a little move in, it turned to be a referral hospital. It's living up to its names now. The facility is gradually uh, in a deplorable condition and so the administration is thinking about relocation this is the new site we are taking you on our site so you find out how is this construction work being carried out so because because we are already here we will talk to the teams that will give us the environment um, introduction of the environment so let me talk to you uh, so that you have to wear your mask, at least so I, <laughs> I can be a little bit uh, further from you. We'll keep the social distancing as well as, as we do it. So let's do the building so that we can get you, give us the environment. So just, just come this side a little bit. So what is your name? Uh, my name is Engineer Conan Down, and I'm the subcontract administrator for the New Redemption Hospital project. Okay. So give us an introduction of where we are now currently you are at the front entry of the new redemption hospital and you are standing where we do all of our logistics 
and other activities the section you see on this end is where we keep all of our materials in containers for safekeeping against the weather and the section you see here is our first aid department we also provide first aid which our safety officer Heron Johnson is always here to provide safety for the workers the sections you see this way is our steel fabrication environment where we fabricate all of the steel for the project and this is our mechanical repair section we got our garage we maintain all our vehicles here because our objective is to be able to provide more jobs so we don't take any of our jobs out the area you got at the back there is where we got the agricultural section we got a lot of trees on nursery where we're growing different sectors of trees and this will be like a greenhouse hospital wow. so now i can turn you over to the safety officer who will tell you more about moving the environment with safety so thank you very much we have to move in here with safety because without safety we would not complete our tour here so the gentleman that's just on my uh, screen with you now is the safety man so we are already inside uh, what is it that we ought to do here for safety so first of all uh, thank you I'm Heron K Johnson I'm the heaven safety coordinator now on the project so basically for safety before we proceed to any area you are to obtain your personal protective equipment which you already have so as we walk, we'll be able to direct you where to step, where to pass, so as not to have an interaction too close with worker, also as not to contradict worker, also as not to have a slip, trip, and fall. So in this leg, I will be taking you through along with my crew to be able to direct you where to pass, where worker are, work, are working, where is hazardous, and where is not hazardous, so that you can be on a safe path, because safety is everyone's all responsibility. We speak safety, but it level you to implement it. So in this leg, we'll be directing you as my colleague just said, this is just the introductory aspect of the building when you're going in. But basically, all of the activities are engaged in the building there. So as we go there, you will see where to pass and we will try to show you the footpath and where to go, where not to go. Thank you very much. Safety is very important. And so we are moving now. Uh, like you see, uh, the work being carried out here from the steel side, here at the uh, mechanic side, they got uh, first aid here and uh, they got groundwork done here. You've seen a lot of different uh, activities taking place here. But the structure ahead of us is the structure we are walking towards. And this is the featured home of the new Redemption Hospital. It's built here in Moserado County. His Excellency Dr. George, we have visited here once uh, on a very brief um, visit. And now I'm told that uh, they are in a very advanced stage in terms of uh, this job uh, that has been carried out here and from the level of things upon our completion here we'll get to know uh, when this uh, project will be completed uh, it's going to be the green hospital there's an entire agriculture base attached to it in terms of the flowers and the design work and uh, and uh, what they will be doing they've already started planting the trees the layouts have already started uh, in the compound they've already started laying out some of the uh the the trees that will beautify uh the structure upon completion so you've seen some uh, uh flowers already been planted and as we 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 intend to to bring it to you we will do it just so that you you see it and uh, get on talking here let me talk to um you have to please introduce yourself with us hi my name is uh, edward gould i'm the uh, structural engineer from mass design group uh, mass are the architects who designs the uh, the hospital okay. and now we are overseeing west construction to make sure that they build it as per the design and drawings and specifications so design specification and uh, everything had to come from your side as mass. Uh, so you, you've done all of the blueprint, they are doing the actual work. You're keeping your eyes on it technically. Are you satisfied with what you've seen so far based on what you presented? Yeah, uh, given the current climate and the difficulties of building here, the, uh, the quality is actually very good so far. 
Very good so far. Yeah, it's not finished. So the, um, what what sort of design is this? How do you call this this design? Because I know buildings are designed with different names and different different form, especially for those uh, the architectures. What sort of design? Structurally, it's a two-story frame with a well, made of reinforced concrete um, with yeah continuous footing foundations. So basically, you have a series of feet and then you build your legs on those feet and then you put in layers between the uh, for each for each level and then it's uh, yeah as you well that's it really how many how many bare rooms or how many um, rooms is um, expected here or? I think it is a hundred and twenty two bed is that right 155 beds uh, 155. Yes, so that's not number of bedrooms, that's number of beds, okay, because beds. it's a hospital, you have wards. Yeah. So it's 155. Correct. Correct. So the, um, what is the estimated time you think that this, this, this work, I know we we in COVID, it slowed down the operation, but... Um, uh, originally the hospital was programmed to finish August this year, August 2020. This year? However, due to unforeseeable circumstances and uh, some of the challenges of the project is likely to finish around August 2021. August 2021? Yeah. Uh, so we have a push back to almost a year? Uh, yes. Um, okay. Through, yeah, through some changes in design, through some unforeseen circumstances such as COVID-19, yeah. um, these sorts of issues cause delays all right thank you so uh, we, we are moving in there so that we see uh, what your your design looks in in terms of it um, so we so we we will get moving we'll get moving we'll get moving here and so like like you read this said the project uh, was scheduled for August this year and again, due to the COVID-19 and other situation, uh, they are now anticipating that uh, August 2021, uh, this Redemption Hospital uh, will be uh, completed. Uh, so that uh, these are the, uh, the agriculture team and uh, they are doing the layouts, I'm told. Um, so good to see you. Uh, some formidable face, even though you're wearing a mask, but um, how are you? No, you don't have to hold the mask. Okay. Hi, my name is Gaho. Okay, so you're doing a layout here. Yeah. Um, I'm told that this place is going to be um, a garden with flowers and beauties and designed uh, based on what you uh, you intend to put here. Yeah, uh, this is the agricultural component of the project and we are going to be doing landscaping here putting in plants trees shrubs grasses so as to one beautify the place two the trees will help uh, to promote the health component of the project by uh, providing clean air for the patients to breathe and whosoever passing by and also to give the place the beauty that it deserves so you 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 started already and how far you gone now well we've uh, completed the first phase of our nursery uh, we have uh, something like 90,000 plants on the nursery already we started recently laying out and then digging holes and beginning to plant yes yeah, so uh, we are just in the early stages of our planting in the field yeah all right thank you uh, we wish you all of the best uh, we we will now move into uh, the structure itself this is just the introduction of uh, what is taking place here so you got a little team you got the agriculture team here and then uh, we we come into one of the buildings here and i'm told there are separate buildings in 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 here and 150 plus uh 
uh, beds uh, or, or stuff that would be here. We need to go into the structure. And so while the guys are working, uh, so this should be one of the engineers that uh, I'm told. Uh, so which of the buildings are we now? This is building what? Building A. Building A. Um, that means the first building uh, that got started in here. So you are the engineer for building A. Sure. So what is your name? Engineer Imana S. Tamba. Engineer Tamba. Yeah. So give us a picture of building A. How, how is it and what is the current status of building A now? Uh, from the local things, all the from local things, mm -hmm. building A. Mm -hmm. Is where when you pass, we have to do one construction here where you get a screening, the screening house. Yeah. You pass through and then you in the hospital. When you in the hospital, this area is the registration area. Other registration area, you do your registration and then before they can admit your patient. So building A, there's short stay. Within building A, you get a dispensary area where I don't want to discharge your, your patient. You can get the jobs from, 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 from building A, yeah, sure. So this building A is with registration, short stay for patient, uh, when you've been discharged, and um, some of the formalities takes place there at, at building A. Building A will also have the family state here? Yes, yeah, so like yeah, the dispensary area where the family state is. And then the, um, building A, you get a nursing station and the pediatric. So mostly where all the patients will be in the building. Pediatric uh, carry like 70% capacity of the patients. Yes. So that what the upper level slab and the upper level rooms. Therefore, in building A, if you look here, it's nursing station and pediatrics. When you look here, it's nursing station and pediatrics. So it'll be like, okay, part of patient and nurses. So, um, can we just Take a look of what is happening at the top of, of building A. Sure. And safety, are we are we good to go? Yeah, we are, we are good. We are good to we go. Created a temporary access point to the upper floor. Okay. And then if you go up here, you will also see that we create a kind of a rating system, mm -hmm. so as now to have a fall from height. Okay. So if you see this, this is a temporary rating system because we don't have anything to hold anyone there yet. Yeah. So we have to build a rating system. So that you, in case you are coming, and then let's just say you have a slip or you on the other, you will not go straight down to the ground. You will have something to block you. Okay. So if you can see the ground, we have this structure built all around the area to protect our worker, which is one of the hundred percent safety we can to give them. Okay. So this is the top of building A, and uh, you still see the level of work being done here. Uh, we're going to be having a nursing station here. And of course, uh, pediatric uh, A-Rod is going to be here. And so you see, they are working, even in the mix of COVID-19, they are working uh, assiduously. There's a team out there uh, that seem to be doing their side of the job. And of course, uh, uh, they are working on the top of it. And uh, this is the engineer for, so how many, how many uh, persons do you control in your section? Okay, so I got like, 80 to 100 worker because of basically the on contract stuff. Okay. The number of activity we have is the number of workers we maintain for that particular activity. So right now, what you see, they are doing casting of the roof columns. Okay. So definitely sell of thing we tell we have to do supervision there. Okay. And when you look to the far end, we are not saying oh we're doing the roof beam. So you got another carpenter there. And when you look here, we're doing uh, the, the 13.0 meter height. And we can sell a team there, like TD team, to execute that. So based on the activity, the number of people we have on site that will control. Okay. So um, we got to just see what is taking place here with our safety team. And so uh, we, 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 we are just moving you through to see this is the top of the, uh, the building. And uh, you can tell that they are working here. They've already started doing some side of it that is, that is, that is gradually being, being roofed. This is the new Redemption Hospital, a very 
big facility here. We are on top of this building. We are just on top of, of it, and of, of, I'm sure that the, the guy on camera is, 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 capturing, is capturing us. And uh, you see the workforce here. They are doing some very big casting work here. And they are, they are working. You see the sort of job that they are doing. Even in the mix of COVID-19, this team has stayed here, making sure that there is a new redemption hospital coming online very soon. And all because of the vision of His Excellency Dr. George Marlon Weir. He wants to see that uh, this health facility comes online and uh, the work has stayed ongoing. They are working at all level. Um, just, just, okay, so this, this is the demarcation for another structure, I'm told. And uh, you just want to see what, what exactly taking place at your bike. And they are still working, they are still laying this out of it. Uh, serious work seems to be going on. And so this is another engineer. Uh, he should be for another portion of the building. And so what is the name? I'm T. Shadrick Yoko. Yoko. So the, uh, which other building do you control? Uh, basically, I control building B. This is the maternity se uh, section of the project. So he responsible for where the maternity center of the project, the maternity center of the project uh, is where we are right now, and this is building B. And you are the engineer for, for so what is the status of the work at, at building B now? Uh, the start of the work now, we are at level two. This is our level two slab. Okay. I think you see we are doing pouring of our slab, our soul section, and we just have like 25% um, of our slab to be completed. And then when you look through the building, then the section you look where we have not casted is the C section, where you do C section. Okay. And then the next section is the women care, where this kangaroo, we call it the kangaroo war. Yeah. It's for women care. Yeah. And then um, on that side is the neonatic um, indicator yeah. where children are kept in some medical equipment to, to keep their body warm, like children who are born like, like prematurely. Yeah. Um, this side of the project, uh, this side of the building is the nursing station. We have the nursing station, we have the staff quarters. And then you'll see some sketches like this one. This is the chimney. So one, this is one of the beauties of the project, right? We have solar chimney. And the basic um, function of the solar chimney is for air conditioning, the circulation of air. Yeah. So in the building, building B, at this level, at level two, at level one, it just uh, where we have uh, pre-delivered wars, where we have delivery wars, where we have operation theaters, where we have um, um, nursing stations, where we have, uh, like, everything is just about women care. At level one. So when I spoke to one of the supervisors, uh, this project was initially earmarked um, for some time this year, but we have COVID and there's a delay. We are now pushing it to another month, a few months ahead. Are you of the, the belief that uh, your team of, of engineers and consultants uh, can get this job done in time? Because um, it's like you, you are working, even in the midst of the uh, the virus and the slowdown of, 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 of activities taking place around the world? I'm very, very positive. I'm 100% sure that we can complete this project because this is Labyrinth Um They will benefit the population a lot. So I think with the team we have on site, with the team of West Kefcom, I think we can accomplish this project so that the Labyrinth people can benefit like immensely from this project because this project is going to like cover a huge population when it comes to healthcare in Liberia. So I think positively we can make it. He's speaking positively and of course uh, say that we can make it. This is the, uh, the building B section. And you, 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 see, you see exactly what they are doing here. We, we've been guided by our safety team. So they are telling us exactly where not to go. But men at work, women at work, and they are doing it here on a very equal ratio here. And they are demonstrating in time that they ought to complete this project because His Excellency Dr. Weir want to see this happen on his watch and that is why they are putting all of the energies, the resources, the partners, the government, they are making sure that uh, this uh, new redemption hospital 
uh, comes alive sometime very soon. So uh, I see I see your your team here. You got you got male and female and uh, working. Um, how are they responding to the job? Uh, general, general equity. You know that we have an issue in Liberia where the women always they cry that they are not recognized when it comes to labor. So we have both men and women. And then we are basically casting columns today. Um, so before, before, before we go further, I just wanted to tell you some of the, the spaces or the areas on this project that make the project so beautiful. Yeah. Like we have a tussle room. A tussle room. Yeah, a tussle room is located on this building, on building B. Okay. And we have the elevator shack. So we have a tussle table, a, a tussle room. I don't know where most of the hospitals in Liberia have a tussle room, but this project have or oh, organize a tossip room. Yeah, thank you. I wanted to capture the lady with the bucket on her head and she's, she's, she's past me. In. You know, those are the, the beauty of the job. We want to see encouraged people uh, doing such a job. We want to go down to the ladies uh, doing those kind of a job here. And uh, as they said, it is a 50, 50 kind of job here. Where I'm, I'm just trying to run through, through through our time here. Uh, just come to me, young lady. Come, yes, come, come, come. So, uh, how are you? Fine, Daddy. So, what, okay. what is the name? Chimama T. Stewart. Chimama? So, what do you do here? I do construction and I'm missing. You're missing? Yes. How long have you been here? I've been here for 2018. 2000 what? 2018. 2018. Do you enjoy this job? I saw you come with the bucket on your head. Is this something that you, you love doing? Exactly. Yes. I can encourage other women. Some people think only men can do this thing. It is my motto. What men do, women do. So I learned to tell the other community, the women there to join me so they can improve themselves. Do it themselves, right? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are stayed at uh, Bell and B. So where are we right now? So currently, this is Engineer Tama. He will just briefly tell you about the roof. Now we are progressing with the roof, the tear level slab, and Engineer Tama will be able to give you more clarity on how the roof is being done. So uh, Tama, what sort of roof we're going to see here? People have already started doing roofing now. So at the point in time, we are doing uh, the concrete, the concrete beam. So we're doing the concrete and we'll place in there. On we'll place that in there. Why is the in there is a steel plate? On we'll place that in. For now, steel plate, there will be our choices will be laid. So that you know basically like Charles roof. You lay the church before you put the polys and then you place in your roofing sheet. For coming all along, we we'll have the young concrete beam. All the year coming to. A very guaranteed hospital. Let's talk to that female who's catching on our camera. Uh, it's like she She's enjoying this missing job a lot, and uh, we're just trying to make our way here. This is the site of the new Redemption Hospital, and uh, we are here catching you and bringing you what we see it here. Hello. Yeah, hello, sir. Oh, you all right? Yeah. How are you doing? Fine. How do it work? Oh, dear God, thank we'll you. Look at the camera. Huh? So that people can see you. Sorry, we're taking are you two minutes off your job. So exactly what are you doing now? Ah, addressing the people, then they play the corner cone air at the play of dressing. Ah, okay. You you doing dressing on the on the pillow? Yes. Okay. So how long you been here? No, almost two years now. One year and a half. One year and a half. Yes. Do you enjoy this as a female? You really enjoy this 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 job? Yes. Yes, because my husband died and I learned the trade on a ZTZ. Okay. Ski training on a ZTZ. So always when I get a job, I'm working there. I get small things for support my children. I will feel happy. Yes. It's going well with you. Everything's okay. Yes. I tell God. Thank this is the new Redemption Hospital. Yes. A new Redemption Hospital here. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. She's a very hardworking female here, and uh, she's telling us she lost her husband. And um, she's doing this for survivors. She learned this on a GTZ. I'm sure it was a German uh, 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 base program. And so um, 
um, she learned that and she's putting that into news right now to survive uh, for her family. We need to go down uh, to see there's a lot of workforce here, especially taking place again. Our team is taking us through. They are providing us safety uh, in terms of our movement here. And uh, this is the concrete pooling. This is the concrete pooling. And you wouldn't believe it. So what happens here is that the concrete has been mowed here. It's mowed in there. And then it's pulled here and then it's, it's received here at this end. And there's a female that is, that is also part of, of this, this job. Uh, how are you? Fine. You okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what is your name? Peggy Seo. Seo? Peggy Seo. So how long have you been here? Not, it's only two years. Yeah. Two years? Yes. Doing this very hard job? Yes. How do you feel? Fine. You ready to feel good? Yes. You enjoy working with the men here? Yes. So this is new redemption, right? Yes. And you feel good working for your country? Yes, I feel good working for my country. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some some people of of, of, of your the status think that this work should not be done by by females. Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? What do you tell all women? I get encourage them. Encourage them. Yes. To, to, to be strong like you, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And like she rightly said encouraging other women to do to be very strong we are stayed on top we are stayed reared on top and you can tell from you can tell from the level of job that they are doing here a very serious so you see on the highness one of them while working at high so they 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 are working at height here and so what are they doing right now they are doing still work on a cutting wall okay. so in this level before you work on this level of height they will build a scaffolding system which i will come and inspect and also make sure that all workers working at height have their safety harnesses as you can see on them so when you are working above six feet height you have to use your safety harness which will also protect it in time of fall so should in case the highness, should in case there's a wind or there's any default in the highness in the scaffolding system, and then it's a child of fall, you see this guy who is hanging on the, the, the steel, will not fall because you have a harness that is already connected and that will also help to save him from injury or death. Safety is being put to actual practice here, and, and that's exactly what uh, taking place here at this construction site of the new Redemption Hospital. Work fast moving very big facility here going on so uh where are we going now gentlemen uh our, our okay so we're level going we are going back to the one to level one building b is where we okay b okay so that is where we are headed now okay yeah okay so use the stairs so this yeah. So this is going to be the ram. Yeah. So they come here. For each building, have uh, four stairs. Okay. Each of the buildings carries four stairs. Information keep coming to me as we run through here. We are still moving here across the look of work taking place here. It's a fee day today. And even COVID-19 having stopped this project. So basically the square is going to be the courtyard. The courtyard. Yeah, the courtyard. Uh. So each of the buildings have a courtyard, open courtyard. Okay. Yeah, people can come out. We're going to have like pav pavers, the pavement in the, in the middle of the building. And then you're going to have that natural and the vegetation that you can come out and then feel the warmth of, of nature. Yeah, so this is going to be basically the code yard for building B. Okay. It sounds it sound very, very interesting. So it's a, the female plumber on the project. Oh, plumber. Wow. You, on this project, you are the female plumber? What is your name? My name is Kema Masale. I don't see women doing plumbing. How, how did you get to do that? Well, for our level now, we decided to do it. We got interest in it. We believe that like, what men can do, women can do the same. How did you learn plumbing, by the way? I went to BWR for four years. 
at the plumbing. Yeah, I did it because I want to do water and sanitation. Water and sanitation at BWR, and now you are doing plumbing here at this very big hospital. You are the one responsible. So you think you're going to do this place where all of the facility here will, will have a very good plumbing facility? Yeah, they are out way. Until to the end, mm. it will be well done. So you started already because from the faces of the job, how far, how far is the plumbing work here now? Well, we are to the second phase, second phase. up here, upstairs. So for now, we up to like police sleep for our pipes because our plumbing will be to within a sling. Yeah, we are putting it, not putting it in the wall, putting it in the sling. Yeah. So that is the whole thing for now. How do you encourage other young women? Some people out there just think that uh, there is nothing to do here. And to see you as a female here doing plumbing at this project site is, 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 is impressive. Yes, for our young women, females, I encourage you that she always put herself and learn something. Like for media for construction, I believe more females are interested in it. And I try to tell them that if we do, if we do construction, we will be at least within a scheme that they made are in for now. Because they believe a man that females don't do such a thing. So we're trying to tell them that we females will be ready to do what they can do. Yes. So thank you, yeah? Thank you. So what's your name again? My name is Kema Masale. Kema Masale. Okay, you the, you the hair for the plumbers here, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So let me talk to another female. Uh, what is her name, huh? My name is Patricia Chavio. What do you do here? Plumbing. Yo, you also do plumbing, yeah. yeah. Do you enjoy it? It's, 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 it's a very hard job. Yes, I love plumbing. You love plumbing. Why? Why you decided to do, to, to do plumbing? I decided to do plumbing because more than everything now, women are able to do what they can do. So I feel like doing plumbing, I also love plumbing. Is this something that you... Uh, you want to encourage other people to do there's a very big project a very big hospital that you are doing plumbing for yes i'm encouraging other women to learn technical trade because some women up there just sitting doing nothing at least you can find yourself in some technical school uh, for me i got them from Bokan washington institute 2014 and i also at least my parents were not happy now but now i i can give them something uh, they also spent for me, so I'm encouraging other women to do what men can do, low. also enjoy what they live for. Thank you very much. Encouraging other females uh, to do more than what men can do here. We are on the construction site today, and where we are is the site of the uh, new Redemption Hospital. Do we have another site you want us to see? Yeah. So uh, we are still rolling on with them. They are taking us on and uh, the sun is hot it's a very good weather today oh, not not our, our environmental team okay they this are making sure our side is clean and tidy okay the environmental yes. team here yeah the environmental team as you can see they are collecting all the deeper material for in the building and okay the so this the, the, so the faces you see here are the people the responsible for the environment they are the environmental team making sure all of what is not needed in here are collected from the project site and of course taken away uh, to um, to be disposed of so we are still rolling around this very huge complex and you can see what is going on here uh, they are still doing some work like we are reporting to you you seeing it nothing has stopped this project from any point in time. So where are we right now? What? This is the outdoor kitchen. Outdoor kitchen? Yeah. They play, so they play they will cook the people. Yeah, so we have a kitchen in the building and then we also have an outdoor kitchen. And then this area, mm -hmm. it, it's not a code here, it's not an opening to this building, right? Okay. It's a cafeteria, the entire section. It's a cafeteria. Yeah, so this is the outdoor kitchen and then it opens into the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is the footing of the outdoor kitchen we're doing for now, the foundation. Men at work here and of course bringing with them all of the experiences, young Liberians, engineers. Um, so we are seeing, so this is building, this is building B we are staying in here. So uh, where is the next building? That's building what? D. 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 C. 
So you see, we, we have just done with one building with <laughs> A, B, and then we go into another wing of the hospital. So it's a good exercise for my cameraman anyway. Uh, he's going to get, get moving with me in here. We are on the other flank of this big facility. And uh, this is the new Redemption Hospital. It's nearing completion now, first of its kind, roofing uh, processes have uh, started, a certain point of it, uh, plumbing work going on, uh, casting taking place. Now we've come to, um, we've come to another building, and this should be another building here. And uh, now guys will have to tell us where exactly we are. Uh, that, so, yeah. you you want to explain to us where are we right now? This is the uh, patient's attendant building. So this building here, it's got a chimney, it's going to have some uh, sinks, it's got some toilets, it's got some showers. This is where the families of the patients can uh, can rest, they can cook and prepare food for their uh, their loved ones inside. And then so it means that you don't get overcrowding in the wards. Okay. So the family visit, they give the food, and then they have their own separate space to rest, wash, clean, cook. Uh, well, oh. So it means you don't get overcrowding within the hospital. You have a separate space for families and uh, families of the patients. So this building, um, once there's a patient in there, the family comes here. No, 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 no. This, th there's no patients in this building. Yeah, the patients are in there. Yes, correct. The families? The families uh, can, uh, can, cook, can cook, rest, wait, okay. eat, wash. Mm -hmm. uh, so, as I say... Why is that important? Um, it's important because otherwise the families will be overcrowding the wards because people serve their, their loved ones food, uh, you know, to, and look after them. And a hospital is a place of, uh, of trying to make people better. So if you have overcrowding within a hospital, actually you're going to spread uh, infections yeah, well, more. Thank you. And I think, um, so how far we are now with it? Um, is it also moving as fast as the uh, other structures are moving? This building has sort of taken a, a stop. As you can see, the structural frame of the building is complete. Mm -hmm. uh, the roof beams and the walls. Um, there's a, a water tower here. So the same way they work in other buildings is you have a water tank which is higher than the rest of the buildings. And then you pump up water from up to the tank. And then it's through a gravity fed system that all the toilets and sinks and uh, then the water is fed from there. So it means that you can have you can have water supply without electricity, if that makes sense. More than that, I think. Uh, so at the top far right of where we stand is another structure. Uh, uh, yeah. What is it? That is the generator and maintenance build. Yeah. Okay. So except there's something that you want to to brief us about. Um, from what we've seen so far, can we do the summary? Uh, there's an administrator here, and there's uh, another gentleman here. You've been following us as well, and uh, so you need to let us know you by name, and what is your name? Yeah, I'm Julius Ibrahim M. Masakwe, okay. quality control through quality assurance on this project. So now you bring us to a very serious point of our discussion, quality control uh, quality and quality assurance. You need to give us the guarantee that what we are seeing here are of the sort of quality, uh, long-lasting and um, durable, we want to call it, that is going to serve the intended purpose. This is in your preview. Sure. Okay. So sure. tell us. The building, the element of this building comprises of steel and concrete. Yeah, we'll make sure we take the steel to the university lab so that we can do the tensile strength, which is about 60,000 PSI. When it is below that limit, we'll change the vendor and we'll not take that steel. Likewise, the concrete, 
we are using 24 megapascal concrete here yeah. along with the aggregate we mix sometimes our aggregate 5 to 20 millimeter aggregate we ensure that those aggregates are rounded and they are of this the requisite shape as from the specification we actually ensure the specification make sure that all what is in the specification has been followed if any changes from the specification would not get in those materials would do in a request for information and that will go as change order then we all will unanimously agree and change that and use a preferable one yeah so from then you see the blacks those blacks you see that they are of strength like 1000 psi here and they are also having concrete embedded into them along with additional steel so even without the columns the black can stand by themselves yeah so this I, I show you that this building has all the requisite the qualities and all what it takes that it should carry us for the next 50 years next 50 years this is the man who giving us quality of the job this young lady is also here and she's part of the administrative arm she's responsible for human resource here and um so what is it in terms of your human resource uh, activities here at this new redemption hospital well first of all my name is Wendell Pute I'm the HR person in charge for now uh, as you can see there's all I can say a tremendous work being done here by the team and so far I can say in the past people have all local Liberian engineers that each building project, they go call outside of people to come and do it. But I think this redemption hospital is going to be an example of living proof that yes, there's a Liberian engineer that can construct this type of building. And this whole building is being constructed not by outsider, but our own Liberians, right there from UL, from Stella Marie, they are the ones building this project. So are you, are you keeping them happy? Are they being um pay satisfactorily uh, in terms of uh, making them to do a professional piece of, a piece of job you are the uh, human resource person that i can say yes my workers are happy as you can see from their faces they are not complaining they are working according to their scope and everything is going well okay. and uh, i know covid 19 having passed you without reducing your workforce uh, the strength of the job uh, now we are gradually returning to uh, doing things as usual uh, how did the project uh, itself um, gets affected uh, due to the COVID uh, restriction COVID-19 hit us hard so for that reason normally if you come to this side you see a lot of human beings close to 400 500 workers but now, since the COVID-19, we have to work with a Scarlington team, which has caused us to drag back a little bit. A Scarlington team, yes, so? This is a Scarlington team. <laughs> You've got a workforce of 400. This is now a small project. Yeah. So you can't get like 100, 200 workers. Yeah. You have to get close to a number. But now, you see, our team is small, so we have to work with that. Being work with a small team has dressed us back instead of going, going a little bit further. But as you can see, with the Scarlington team, we are able to move far. Okay. So, well, thank you. Do you have any, any message uh, finally because we are about to, to close up with all of you now? Well, my message I can say is I would like to tell everybody thank you. I mean, the hospital is not built by outsider. I will always encourage librarians, whether boys or girls, to take the field of engineering. Although I'm not an engineer myself, but looking at my fellow engineers and the crowd, I say, I'm, I myself, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit you know, envious of them. But I would, I would say, boys and girls can follow their lead. So that instead of taking people outside, our own engineers and librarians can do the work for us in here. Well, it's been, it been a nice time talking to you and the rest of the team here. Uh, we've been walking around this uh, facility. This is my second time here. I remember we came here sometime back with His Excellency Dr. George Martin Weir. This project was just above taken out of the ground. Today we've come here to see a superstructure coming up with time fame uh, taking place on. So we just want to say it's been a good time 
speaking to all of the team members here. They've given us all of the information we've asked them. They've helped us through the safety. They've given us the opportunity to go from different wing of this hospital to another wing of it, giving us the guarantee, the assurances, and of course uh, the commitment that in time that this uh, particular redemption hospital relocation process will come to um, uh, will come to pass. The president is thinking big about this project. He's hoping that uh, his administration will see this project come to an end and of course dedication will take place here sometime very soon. We've come here today like we'll do to other places we're about to go. We've just returned from the southeast. Today we are here in Moserado County. Our next stop will be announced sometime soon. Maybe we'll be on the road sometime very soon. But from the new site here where your new Redemption Hospital will be coming online very soon. Thanks to Olin Cooper. My name is Smith Tobey. Thanks for viewing us.